Spectrophotometry. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Spectroscopy is the study of how light interacts with matter and subsequently spectrophotometry works thanks to the fact that light gets absorbed by matter. When a light passes through a solution, some of it will get absorbed in this manner. The higher the concentration of the substance in the solution, the more light will get absorbed and the less light gets transmitted through the solution as a consequence. Now, that is of course an overly simplified way to look at it, but it works as a good starting point for us to jump off. So next, let us take a look at the different components that make up the device. Here, we first find a light source, then a lens called the collimator, which focuses the light into a prism or grating known as the monochromator. This in turn splits the incident beam into different wavelengths and by using an adjustable slit called a wavelength selector, a suitable wavelength spectrum can be selected. Finally, the light passes through the sample solution and a detector measures this incoming light and the result gets displayed. This value is known as the absorbance value, which is also often called optical density or OD. Now let us take a closer look at that data, shall we? So this is a so-called absorption spectrum and it shows us how much light and at which wavelength it gets absorbed by our sample. On the y-axis the absorbance is displayed and on the x-axis the different wavelengths. Where peaks occur not as much light is reaching the detector or in other words light of these particular wavelengths gets absorbed. In addition to this spectrum, most photospectrometers give the absorbance value as just a number. This number is what we can use to calculate the concentration of the sample solution. So to calculate the specific concentration of the solution used in the spectrometer, we use Baer's law. This is absorbance A equals molar absorptivity E times path length B times concentration C. Two side notes here. Number one, in my experience the spectrophotometer gives its output in absorbance but if for whatever reason you need to do this calculation based on the input and output intensities here is the formula for that as well. Absorbance equals log incident light divided by output light. So that's how we get the absorbance. Okay, number two. If you have found this video helpful so far, you know what to do at this point. I don't need to further brainwash you. So let us demonstrate how to calculate this concentration using an example. Let us imagine that absorbance equals 0 0.8, molar absorptivity equals 0 0.35, centimeter to the power of minus one and molar to the power of minus one. I'll put the units there so you can see it. And then finally the path length will equal two centimeters. So we'll use those numbers for this example. First we need to rearrange the formula. Okay much better. With that done we can simply plug in the values. This will give us an answer of 1.14 molar. So why is this device useful? Well, as we just demonstrated together, spectrophotometry can be used to quantify the amount of a certain substance in a solution. In addition, it is especially useful when we want to measure the change in concentration of a solution over time. It is widely used in chemistry, physics, biology, biochemistry, as well as material and chemical engineering, and the list goes on. So if you are in any scientific field, chances are high that you will meet this little device many, many times. I know I have at least. So there you have it. Please let me know if you found that helpful. Until next time.